Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're doing a, a segment that is quickly becoming one of my favorites. I s still, that's wrong, borrowed the idea from Alexandria Ryan, who I love very much. I love her videos. She does something called the Ipsy Showdown. She com she has three different Ipsy profiles. She compares the bag. She guesses which one they are. I do a little variation of that where I take my mother's Ipsy and I take my own Ipsy and I compare what we got and I see which one I like better, which one I think is more fitting for each of us, which products overall I like, and then I mash them all into what my ideal Ipsy would be if it were for me. I don't know anything that I got. I didn't see my spoiler email. I, we were at Disney. I wasn't concerned with it at all. Whatever. My mom accidentally opened mine, so I think she's seen which in mine, but then she realized it was mine and she put it back in the bag and then she got hers. She opened hers up, so she knows all of the, the mystery. I did take a sneak peek at hers because I was interested and I didn't want to open mine. I wanted to be surprised by mine. I don't know what that logic is. I don't know why it mattered whose I opened and who I didn't. I don't know. Whatever. I opened hers. I didn't open mine. It's fine. We're going to start with hers. So initially the bag this month i think is just absolutely precious i love it i from the pictures that i had seen of people posting about them i actually thought it was black originally but it's like this really pretty olive green got this like kind of textured it's like the, the pleather feeling again but not the plasticky pleather more of like an actual pleather pleather does that make sense i don't think it does but whatever um, but it's like this really nice feeling bag. It's a really cute color. And the first thing I noticed when I opened hers, like 10 minutes ago, because I was bored and waiting for Nikki to find his SD cards, and uh, decided I was going to venture into her bag, was she got this Nanette Lepore Beautiful Times. It is a perfume. Don't know why. It took me forever to figure out what it was, because I was like, I think it's a perfume, and I'm not sure. It says... Oh, the, oh, the perfume right on the front of the box. I did not see that for some reason. So I sprayed it and then I was like, yeah, that's got to be our perfume. It smells very nice. Really sweet, but has like this slight spice to it. And it's like holding up pretty well because I always think, you know, it, initially you're going to smell it a lot more and then throughout the day it's going to wear off. I probably sprayed it about an hour ago. It's very nice smelling though. I'm very... Um, I'm kind of jealous about it, honestly. Uh, but I, it's funny because neither of us like really sweet perfumes. And I think it's slightly sweeter than what she normally goes for. But I think she'll still use it. So overall, I think that was a really good product. Um, she said she got this Luxie brush. You guys know I love getting brushes in my subscription boxes because I feel like those are the ones that I wind up using the most. This is a really nice tapered topped brush. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's a very nice blending brush, very fluffy, um, with a really tight cinch on it. Luxie is a brand I love in particular, like every brush that I've gotten from them, I'm pretty sure I've used um, almost immediately. So I really like getting products from them. She's like, I feel like every Ipsy I get a brush. I understand her complaint. Uh, if you get 12 Ipsy's a year and you get a brush in every one of them, that's one of your products. That's a brush every time and that's 12 new brushes. She's not really the type of person who cares about brushes like that. She has the set ones that she's used forever and she really loves those. So I understand her complaint. She was kind of disappointed with it, but overall I think it's a, a good product. I'd be excited if I got that. So um, not great for her, but in my opinion, not a bad product to get. This is a Thrive Cosmetics, and it's cause, spelled like because, like as in you're fighting for a cause. So that's kind of clever. It's a little mascara, and it's got a really, really cool wand. I don't know if I got, like I said, I don't know what's in my box yet, but I don't know if you guys can see it. It's like a little telescope. At the bottom, it's got these like really fine points, and then it kind of goes into like a normal brush, but it's tapered. It's just really cool. Um, it's a black, it's a black mascara, so it's not like it's a, anything groundbreaking. But I like the color of the packaging too. Teal is my favorite color, aside from black. So yeah, I thought that was a cool product too. Final two are both little, um, just normal, like squeeze tubes. I couldn't come up with the word right there. But she has this Feel Bright squ Squalane face oil. Uh, which has rose hip and avocado oil, 
blended and it is good for all skin types. So that's just like a nice little face oil. Um, you put it on your, your skin once it's cleaned and it's supposed to bring out the natural illumination. Um, I got one from Wander Beauty in my BoxyCharm, which I have not used yet. Um, I'm guessing it's kind of the same concept. So we'll see if she likes it or not. Um, and then this one, honestly, I'm very jealous about. This is the Thank Me Later Face Primer from Elizabeth Mott. I actually brought this with me in my travel bag pretty much on every vacation I've taken this year because it's a nice little small primer. It's a very good pore filler and I just finished off my my tube so I'm a little jealous that she got this. I hope that maybe I have one in mine as well. Um, it looks like a small tube but that thing lasted me for a good while. I wasn't quite using it every day but I used it pretty regularly so um, honestly I, I'm pretty impressed with her bag. I like it. I know she complained about the brush but I don't think it was a bad bag by any mean. I think it's more than worth the $10 that you pay for Ipsy a month. Um, I'm just gonna pull them all out and see. We'll see what I got. <laughs> oh, I got some cool stuff. All right, first thing I see is I got this Confidence in a Gel Lotion from It Cosmetics. I love the Confidence collection from them. I use their Confidence in a Cream, Confidence in a Jar. They have a whole bunch of things in their skincare um, line. And I'm a huge fan of It Cosmetics in general, and I'm a huge fan of the Confidence anyway. So this is a Hydra Plumping Skin Transforming Weightless Moisturizer weightless moisturizer. It's a really tiny little bottle so it would probably only get me a few uses out of it but overall like when I'm on a trip or something you guys have seen my travel bag this will fit nicely into it and it'll be a nice moisturizer for when my skin starts to be starts to get drying out from being in the sun and all that kind of stuff so I'm excited about having that. Um, the next one I'm going to go for is kind of a big one. So it is a pore purifying Spirulina and tea tree clay mask. Um, it's a really nice size. It's almost like, I would say this is close to a full size. It is one full fluid ounce of a clay mask. That's really nice. Once again, that'll be really nice in my travel bag. So I'm excited about that. The next thing I'm gonna move into, our camera stopped. We had to change the battery. And then I realized that this, which is a blush from Pixie by Petra, which came bundled up like this, is just absolutely destroyed. Just came completely smashed. Can you see that on camera? Just absolutely. I can't even open it because it's just dust. In fact, I thought it was not a panned blush. I thought it was like a loose mineral blush. It is not. It is just absolutely annihilated. So, I'm gonna have to email them and be like, what the hell? I hate doing that. I would just prefer to get my products proper the way that they're supposed to come initially. So that's disappointing because this would be a nice sized blush normally, but instead it is um, dust and it's not supposed to be. So that is upsetting for a bag that I really liked so far. Whatever, that's fine. Moving on, calming breaths. Husa, Husa. This is a, I'm assuming it's a lip color. Yeah, all day lip cream. It's from Adesse, New York. Um, it doesn't say what the color is, but I can see. It just says sample, not for resale. So I guess it's a good thing I'm not planning on selling it. But, oh, it's not a bad size. It's like a pretty decent size. And... I mean, that's a really good size lip color. It's very, um, kind of like a mauve like a dusty rose type. Let's see how it looks. Oh, it's pretty. I don't know if it's showing up red. It's kind of like a, it's like a deep pinky purple, but it's pretty color. It's very creamy. So yeah, I mean, it's like a kind of a cheap plastic feeling in terms of the casing, but I mean, I don't really care about that as much as, as long as I get a decent amount of product, so. And the final thing we have here is a Suva Beauty Eyeshadow. It is in the shade Barbecue. I'm not gonna lie, I watched Alexandria Ryan open her bags and she got two of these. One was in Barbecue, which is like a pinky purple color. And the other one was in Turmeric, which was a gold and I was hoping to get Turmeric, but. That is a really pretty, pretty color. Very deep 
purple. Let's see how it looks swatched. It's actually, it's, yeah, it's like very kind of shimmery, pinky purple. It's pretty. Um, overall, I'm really upset. I'm trying so hard not to be upset. I just filmed my BoxyCharm one and that was so negative. I'm trying so hard not to be upset about the Pixi broken product, but I just really hate getting broken products. It really kind of makes me just not in a good mood. So let me go ahead before I get too upset into my head. Let me go ahead and create my perfect Ipsy. Um, I would say between the two that I, my mom received, the one that I received, I would pick mine if I had to choose one bag that came as is. But if I had to assemble my own perfect bag, I would say I would do. Let me lay out her product so I can see what she got. I would do the BBQ eyeshadow. The, that I'm going to count, that's one. The Thank Me Later Face Primer, that's two. The Nanette Lepore uh, Perfume, that's three. The Thrive Cosmetics, oh, this is not looking for, good for my Epsi. The Thrive Cosmetics um, Mascara, and then the Lip Color. So that would be five. Two came from my Epsi, three came from my mother's Epsi. So I guess technically this month my mother's Epsi won. In terms of what I would like to receive, I think if I had not have had the broken blush, I probably would have had my bag win, but um, that's not what happened. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. It super helps our page. And uh, if you like the page, please subscribe. That way you can see every time we post a video. And other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and stay girly with a dark twist.